Now to new court documents filed by attorneys for the widow and the brother of a Bellhaven man found dead in the Pearl River. And this is just the latest in a legal back and forth. It's been going on since Dow Mobile's body was found last week. Mobile and his brother Bull are part of a survival story of the lost boys of Sudan. They made a new life in America 20 years ago after escaping the Sudanese Civil War. Dow's body was found at the Pearl River more than three weeks after he went missing. Initial autopsy results found no signs of foul play. He was last seen on the museum walking trail in Jackson last March. Last week, a judge issued a temporary restraining order prohibiting his wife, Carissa Boley, from cremating or burying the remains until the state medical examiner performed an autopsy. The family would also have the option of getting an independent autopsy. In a new court filing today, lawyers say Dow's minor son and the boy's mother also want to have a say in what happens. Experts say legally the wife's rights may trump anyone else's. Because it's not clear to me right now how they have standing a legal right to proceed unless they are going to allege facts that suggest that the uh, the surviving spouse is an unsuitable person to handle the disposition of the body. Naboli supports an independent autopsy only after state law enforcement have completed their investigation and no longer need access to the body. Lawyers for Dow's brother believe time is of the essence here. They argue Dow's presence in the river may have already compromised efforts to determine what caused his death. <laughs>